Hey guys, uh, doing something a little different today, uh, trying to get away from all the maudlin stuff that I've been doing. Uh, this is the door to my apartment. It's the basement apartment in the back. But I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the view that I have from here. That is the Mississippi River. Uh, really quite nice. Uh, there are far worse things. I have plenty of trees. And I rather like that. Um, I'll take you on a little walking tour. This is my new Weber grill. It's just your basic, uh, you know, your basic grill. It's not a lot to it. Haven't used it yet, but I want to use it today. Haven't cooked on charcoal for a while. This is the dog fence that I have set up. Uh, it's not great. I do have some things that I need to do, but this little bit is a gate for uh, being able to bring out the uh, bring down stuff from the car. I, there's a cart that I can load it on and bring it down here, which is pretty much how I'm doing things. No, they're in the setup. I'm picking up stuff that's too heavy to go down the stairs or too cumbersome to go down the stairs. It is uh, far more advantageous to put it on the cart and take it down. This is a neighbor's property over here. Uh, Ketters, they're quite nice. Uh, I ran into them and they know I'm here. Uh, over there is uh, uh, the neighbors across the street and they have a flooring company, among other things. This is the apple tree. That the apples came from. Uh, there's a few more that have fallen, but you know, these are mostly for deer and hornets. <laughs> a little bit of fall color left, not a lot. Uh, we had a hard freeze a couple of nights ago, so these are all on the way out. Um, that over there is the shed, which is really a one car garage. Uh, it's full of stuff right now. I mean, it's it's a storage space. A lot of mom's house is used as storage space. Uh, the house itself, I mean, it's all the bugs and stuff, detritus. I wanted to bring a pressure washer, but the uh, last pressure washer I brought up uh, bit the dust. So uh, I have one that I can bring up, but it's, you know, I didn't bring it up with me. Because I was like, uh, drop everything, go. <laughs> this little fenced off area. I'm not sure what this was. I think this at one point was a garden, but it's long since been uh, disused. Uh, not sure what that will become, but it will become something. I don't know if you can see inside the shed. It's, uh... Yeah, we'll get a look at it later. Not that big of a deal. Uh, mom's house. Not big, but it is kind of nice. Uh, she lives upstairs. There is a uh, two-car garage here. Although there is... Mom's car is in there. Uh, this is a kennel that she had built up for... Uh, some of the ranchers had hunting dogs. And they were outside dogs. So... She had that built a little bit of fencing here also. Again, not sure what this was, but it is, uh, it's fenced in. I'll have to figure that out at some point, but that is not critical right now. Uh, property line is over there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but neighbors over there were very nice. They brought over some, some food and I've met them. They are uh, very helpful. I'm going to need to uh, ask them about the trash thing. There is no trash pickup here. Uh, I think we're down over this way. A little sort of a holy thing here. Uh, uh, at some point I'm going to be the one to deal with the landscaping. <laughs> um... 
Yeah, this is the back side. Little stack of firewood here. There is a fire pit, but uh, the fire pit has not been used in a while because Bemidji has been under a uh, um, drought all summer. So there are some boats over there. That's uh, a couple of canoes and a fishing boat. Um, all the motors are gone now. Ooh. I didn't see that before. That's kind of neat. The dock is in pretty, you know, it's not great shape. Let me try and do this. These steps down very much need to be uh, replaced, serviced, done something with. Ah. This railing is actually pretty solid. Uh, but these, I mean, yeah, those are things we're going to have to uh, have to manage. I should come down here with the chainsaw and do some trimming. Of course, the cattails are taking over. Um, this is a floating dock, so it stays in. Oh. Like somebody is uh, nesting down here. There are ducks that come here and do all sorts of ducky things. Ducks, geese, swans. Uh, all of this is, I believe, wild rice, uh, which you cannot rice anymore because they've uh, changed the rules so that you are, uh, I think, only natives can do it now or something. I don't know. Uh, the water is not very deep here, but there is a whole bunch of mud and old plant material. So that's about, well, that's several feet deep beyond this. So it's, it's not good for swimming at all. Um, there are fish. I am not a fisherman, but this whole thing is super shallow. I mean, it's probably 200 yards that way before you get to the actual river channel. And even then, the river channel isn't very deep. Um, I went out there one time. My brother-in-law dropped a, uh, a fishing rod, and I dove in after it, and it was I think it was about six feet of water. And it smelled like a sewer when I came back up. So, yeah. Not swimming a whole lot anymore. But, you know, there, I think I'm probably going to have to take down that tree. I think that's an oak, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see. I'm not going to do it now. That's the far more uh, critical things that need to be done. I'm going to pull these up at some point, but I'm not going to deal with it now. I don't want to disturb the duckies. Uh, Ooh. Let's go back up. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with these uh, steps. I definitely want to widen them, even them out, and uh, I don't know if concrete would be good. I think it would be better than the gravel and block. <laughs> yeah. Hornets. Get out of my. Get out of my face. Squirrels. This hornet is chasing me around. So, anyway, that's where it is today. Uh, trying to take it a little easier today. Just because it's a, you know, it's a Sunday, it's a nice day. Walking around in the, I'm walking around in a t-shirt today. I had to, 
I had the big fleece hoodie on for the past few days because it's been doggone cold. And I think we're past the cold part now. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the quick and dirty tour. Um, I don't know if I'll have an up another update tonight or not, but I figured this is probably enough for today. So mom's doing okay. She's getting feisty again. <laughs> Uh, we're making it, you know, we're figuring stuff out, getting a kind of a rhythm down, I suppose. Um, I still have stuff to do. It's, there are a lot of chores that come with this place. And, uh, especially with trying to clean out stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe on another day I'll give you a tour of the inside and get you a little bit more acquainted with the space. Oh, some crab apples, I think. Or no. I don't know what these are. Hang on. Let me pop you around. I don't know what kind of berries these are. The birds tend to love them. And they're right outside the living room and dining room windows. So, number of uh, number of very nice things I put here. Deer come into the yard. There are coyotes and owls and once in a while an eagle. Trumpeter swans. It is kind of nice up here. The city itself and the area. I don't know. Still getting used to it. It's changed since I was here 30 years ago. Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if this is a place that I would want to stay or not, but I don't know if I can. Anyway, until next time. See you guys.